the, the change model that we use in ORSC is very much to say, we talk about the primary and the secondary. So what is the system currently, what's its current way and what it's currently aware of? And as you said, often it's step change. It's just get it bloody done by this date. And often there's something that new that is emerging, which might be more self-managing, more creative, more innovative. And in fact, what's needed for the business to survive long-term. And, and what we know is systems bounce back and forth between what they're familiar with and the new thing that's emerging. And I mean, my heart goes out to you because you get crunched every time it moves back and forth. We definitely don't have a formula we have a, a raising of awareness. And then I think one of the beautiful things in agile practice is this thing of, so what hat is appropriate for me now? Is it appropriate to facilitate now? Is it appropriate to coach now? Is it appro appropriate to be the, the subject matter expert now? And I think, I think that, um, I think bringing in systems coaching just gives weight and depth to you when you are in the emergent coaching mode, but it doesn't solve the problem that sometimes you're still in the delivery mode. What really appealed to me when I started doing off coaching was the fact that I don't have to coach individuals, I coach the system. So, you know, one of the, one of the, great, um, one of the great help in, in a situation like this is to, um, if you can create, um, situations where all voices are heard you know so um when you know some of the some of the tools that we have in ORSC create the condition so that the the word of a um of a person that reports into somebody that reports into somebody that reports into somebody that reports into a senior manager carries the same weight um as the word of the manager now that requires uh, quite a bit of development in the coach, uh, him or herself. You know, so um, the other reason why I always say to you, um, agile coaches, please just go and do. As if you only, if, if you, even if you only do the fundamentals, go do it. It's because of the impact that it has on you as a person. You know, the the um, the tools that it gives you, yes, but actually, you know, what it does to you on the inside when you realize that no there's no person that's the problem, um, there's something in the system that's not working properly, and everybody in the system is holding that dysfunction um, in place. So, you know, I, I find, um, apart from, you know, the change tools, which I love, I found those kinds of processes really, really useful create an environment um, where everybody is willing to speak up um, because that very often gives even leaders information that they didn't have before. 